Okay, the project we're working on today is converting a ginormous cooler, Coleman cooler, into an ice box. You ever heard any of the uh, old timers? They'll often refer to the refrigerator as an ice box. That's because back in the day, that's all they had. They had an insulated box, and they would um, buy ice down at the uh, local. Um, ice house and bring it home and and slip it into their um, ice box at home and that would keep their uh, food cold for about a week and then they had to buy more ice well we're gonna do like a miniature version of that and um, it's gonna be upright like a refrigerator when I'm done and it's not gonna be sitting down in this position and so <clears throat> what I need to do is as the ice melts it's got to have a place to go of course we got this drain in the bottom and um, I'm gonna hook up a drain hose to it that runs out and drains out onto the ground but the problem is being upright it's gonna risk uh, losing water uh, having it drip out onto the floor of the van and to prevent that we're building like a little dam here and I got this piece of plastic here all it is is I uh, cut it off of a plastic tub lid and kind of smoothed it out made it so that it basically fits in there and I'm going to hot glue it like crazy right there and that will form my dam to catch water as it melts and guide it out the uh, drain hole, not out on the floor. So what I did is I just uh, tacked it in place with a couple little beads of hot glue. Now I intend to go all the way around the edge on both the outside and the inside and that should make a pretty solid piece and also make it watertight so so I got it glued in and you can see I went overkill on the uh, hot glue <laughs> I mean I, I used two sticks of glue entire two sticks on both on uh, one on both side one on one side one on the other side because uh, I know this is gonna be a critical piece what this will allow me to do you can see with it setting upright like this um, and we're in a band you know as the ice melts it's gonna create a pool of water right here and I experienced this in my other bands when I was using a cooler as an ice box, um, I always had a little drip coming out and dripping on the floor that I kept having to wipe up. And I thought this would solve that problem totally. Just hook a, a drain hose on the outside of that drain, running straight out onto the ground. And so, um, I'll be able to build shelves in here. It's only critical to uh, have this bottom watertight. The rest of it is just, um, you know, insulated protection to keep things cold. But that's a permanent part of the uh, ice box now. Um, had a couple different ideas on how I'm gonna build my shelves in here first I thought you know I'd just go ahead and put screws through the walls and I started thinking you know that uh stuff they those little hooks they make to, to hang pictures on your wall that uh, just stick on and um, cling really tight I mean those things are awesome I've used them I was thinking, you know, that would work perfect in here. Just put little hooks everywhere where I'm going to have a, a metal graded shelf. 
Now at the very top, I'm going to put like a, uh, there's going to be a big plastic tub in there that the ice goes in. And uh, my idea is the way I want this to work is because I know cold air goes down. Um, all the food will be down below and then the ice will be up top in a tub. <clears throat> and um, most of the water will be collected right there in that tub. I'll just be able to take it and pour it out. But I know there's going to be condensation. It's going to leak water um, as you're driving and, and stuff. And you don't want that all over your floor all the time. So um, hopefully this will fix that problem. And give me a nice big ice box to keep pop and stuff cold in. And so here's the finished product. I actually painted the outside of it in a um, gloss black and set it up so that it's uh, anchored down and it ain't, it ain't going anywhere. And here's the inside. Um, ice goes at the top. Made these shells. What I did is I, I bought these little... Uh, baskets that came with these lids and I was like you know those lids are the perfect shelves and so all I did to make these is I cut these boards put put two-sided gorilla tape on the back side and that gorilla tape is amazing I mean it is strong and um so you can see there's some water dripping down from the ice but it just drips down and it goes into the very bottom down here. Got this lip, as you saw, that stops the water from leaking. It's uh, all been um, hot glued in here. Um, when the water collects high enough at the bottom, go all the way down and look at the bottom side of this you can see where the uh, plug is how this hose runs down and I made a little hole in the wheel well that it runs out onto the ground and just have it um, anchored right here with a uh, hose, uh, hose clamp holding it up and so I'll never have any water leaking in the van like I did in my old van. And it just uh, drains right out. I uh, just wanted to uh, give you an update on my mileage here. Uh, before, in another video I posted uh, that when I... Uh, had, gone about 230 240 miles or so um i was averaging around 20 to 21 miles a gallon well when i did that video it was uh in the fall i wasn't running any air conditioning and the weather was nice so i wasn't having to um let my engine set and idle or anything for to warm it up and also uh wasn't under very windy conditions so full disclosure here i wanted to show you um we've been having a harsh winter it's been uh way below freezing uh down in the uh teens and and single digit uh fahrenheit numbers and so i have to come out and uh start my engine and let it run for about 15 20 minutes because i don't like driving in a cold vehicle um and uh also, we've been having a lot of high wind uh, that I've been having to just drive this big old boat straight into. Um, got a, my trip shows I, uh, this trip I did 239 miles and, 
and my average mileage is about 17 miles to the gallon so I just wanted to do a full di disclosure here I didn't want to come across deceitful in any way or, or somebody get mad at me and say well you said da, 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 da. no I just wanted to be able to share that with you let you know um, under harsher conditions that your mi gas mileage will go down so if you buy a Ram Pro Master uh, in, in optimal conditions yeah you can get up to 20 21 miles a gallon in uh, really harsher conditions it's going to be a lot lower so anyhow thank you okay this is the uh, next time that I uh, put gas in my vehicle I drove another 270 miles on this trip and this time I averaged 20 miles per gallon so you can see how it fluctuates depending on uh, the weather the weather's been pretty nice uh, all this week and no wind so um, I did a lot better this time So just a quick update here. I was on my way to work tonight. Heard a loud crash. And this is what I saw when I came back and looked. Um, apparently my uh, two-sided Gorilla Tape wasn't as uh, powerful as I thought it was. You can see where it pulled off right there. Um, so yeah what i'm gonna have to do is go ahead and tap a couple screws in each one of those make sure it doesn't fall off anymore and i don't think that'll harm the integrity of the cooler at all i mean after all they they built the thing with a screw hole in it so but yeah, 